everyone, I need the chippies here, and we are back with Genshin Impact. We are here again, still with the fucking the stupid ass Sumeru event that I really don't care for anymore. Like, I mean, it's not an event, it's like the fucking story quest. And don't get me wrong, it's a nice story quest, but it's a little long, you know? And I'm already at the point of like, let me do the event so I can get the goddamn Primal Gems! <sighs> You and Nahida both. Tenyarzad wouldn't want to see you two like this. Where is my knife? It's better than trying to... There it is. Try to make a hole into a thing without stabbing myself. Oh, and speaking of her, Paimon just remembered something. Remember okay. how during the first Sub-Zero's festival, before the Samsara started, we came here with Dunyarzad because she wanted to pick something up? She said it was because she had forgotten something. Okay, so Paimon's memory is working so far. Anyway, Paimon also remembers that she is staying somewhere around here. She pointed it out to us the night before the Sub-Zero's festival. Mm-hmm. Ah! Shit. That would have been... I'm glad I didn't do anything stupid. Yeah! Even if it's only a tiny clue, it'll probably still help us more than this needle in a haystack search. Like, I'm using an exacto knife, and... Listen instead of place. being smart... It's rude to enter other I'm being dumb. spaces without permission, but... Desperate times call for desperate measures! If any of you hey, don't know what that means, the it means I'm putting the knife towards myself. Okay. Uh, Paimon's gonna take a peek inside. Ready this to protect was only me? This a temporary residence, so there was pretty much nothing inside except this book on the table. Should we open it? I needed a... The... Okay, so I am not going to read all this. There's a lot of words. If you choose to read it, you may. Because I am not. So, what, my dear sweet summer child? What the hell do you want? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Okay. So I'm going to fucking split this like a goddamn... Fucking straw. There it is. So, this four entry points. Ellie, what are you doing? That actually might be a better route to do instead of cutting it a complete hole out of this. Uh, seems like I need to make the hole bigger. Or something. Okay, so now that that's paused, I'm going to move it down, and I hopefully you paused it rather than the other one, and now I'm going to let you guys read it a little bit more, so you can kind of get a feel of what the fuck, you know, is going on in jazz, so... I feel like doing it this way. Everybody who wants to read gets the chance to read what's going on versus, you know, all of us kind of being in... and or those who don't want to... who don't, they can just kind of like scroll, wait till I move on. But those who want to read it, they can pause it, read it, then play, and then continue going off onto the where, you know, the little story of what we need to be doing. Shit. Can I not fold these down? These pieces down. It's not working. Fold down, damn it! Is the hole not big enough? Should I have something bigger? Why? You know, I'm just gonna hit a circle now. Wow. Junior Zod wrote all of this. 
sounds like she was always thinking of us even while we were away. Even though she was also busy preparing for the Subzeru's festival Fuck. and had all her health problems to worry about. She must have wanted to give this to us as a gift on the day of the Subzeru's festival, right? If we hadn't found this book, we never would have known. But now that we know, we can't even thank her. You should have just cut this hole in the general. Doesn't this hell look like in straw works? And I pushed the right button. So I pushed all the buttons. I didn't f travel too far or hit the ground, so. There we go. How do they get it to fucking work? Ugh. I didn't know you were such a slacker. Fuck it. I'll just cut off the pieces. I didn't want to cut any pieces because I was hoping I wouldn't have to. Look, sweetie. Sometimes my cat, I love her, but she bothers me so much. Ow! Ah! I didn't cut myself, I swear. For real, though. I didn't. Um. I don't know what the hell happened, but I guess I... No, I, probably I get... Because I think what I did was I yanked out, like, part of my a toenail out from my foot. And when I ripped it out of my foot, like it was it was like hard or something. Like, like I took off more fleshy parts when I ripped the toenail out. So, like it hurts, you know. Just switch to a shorter character to get past that. So when I, uh... <gasps> flying. But yeah, so like, it was swollen for a little bit, I guess. My toe. Like, the where I just ripped out the thing. Because I technically ripped out a chunk of flesh. A little small chunk. But a chunk of flesh I'd ripped off. It's Dunyarzad's puppet! Guess. Thank you. Traveler? You must be exhausted. Come to think of it, we've been stuck in this place for a really, really long time. Heck, even the last time we were chatting happily with Dunyarzad feels like an eternity ago. Hmm. This place with morality, long time ago, heck. Last time we chatted happily was where I felt like an eternity ago. Okay, so it's just flashback shenanigans. I was like, wait a minute. I came in last night. It's just. I keep looking up, expecting new sh things, but it should switch to whatever. My mom still remembers when we were sitting here, and the way her eyes sparkled when she talked about Nilu's dance of Subzeros. I am barely recall it now. There will always be frustrations in life. But I know that the point of living is not to leave behind any regrets.
Junior Sword? Yes, Traveler. What is it? Snip. Oh, so she's still just a puppet. But just now, how come... What? Where are we going this time? To watch the dance of the servers. There we go, that'll have to work. Alright. Should it be under or over that scump sets? I think over it would be better. Because then it's likely to stay inside if it's surrounding the thing. Yeah, I think that actually works. I'm gonna put a little bit of tape on this shit so it stays! Because I fucked up and it flipped out. And so I'm gonna put some tape on it to keep it steady. To keep it nice and steady. While I work. Ha. Now I have to go see a dance. Do a dance. What's the hurry? Go do the thing ha. and da 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 da. Hmm, got some achievements here. Let's see what the achievements are. Deja vu! Ah, it's up here. If you continue to resist, we will have to order an investigation into every single event organizer. The Grand Sage has already granted you much leniency. I advise that you exercise tact. How... How did things turn out like this? Uh... Traveler? Uh, you don't have to get involved. He's a sage from the Academia. I don't want to drag you into this. Traveler? Traveler? What the heck are you doing? If you get arrested by the Academia, that's another day gone to waste! Wait! They're not reacting! Have they been scared stiff? They're puppets. Oh, of course! If this is the sage's plan, they wouldn't put themselves through this! So they're just substitutes! What is this? What happened to the Grand Sage and his entourage? On a moment. Boop. <laughs> like I said, they symbolize the goddess of flowers. It's just a shame that all the real body sars went extinct after her death. Yes, the greater lord brought forth new body saras in memory of the goddess of flowers. But she ultimately could never truly replicate that beautiful shade of purple. They're like blue, aren't they? Ah, that beautiful shade of purple. Aren't these flowers real Padisaras? Just like the ones from the legend? I didn't even notice. Tanyarzad, did you find these? But didn't you just say all the real flowers went extinct after the goddess of flowers passed away? So, Al? Yeah. What's going on here? Hey, Billy, where, I hear you crying. Why are you crying? What you want, chocolate bunny? Close your eyes. Uh, uh huh? This is neat. Okay. I should have made another hole, though, for the one on the bottom. 
Shit. Alright. God damn it. Oh well. It's a thing I'm doing. Alright, 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 alright. But the Okay. Imagine the grand stage and his entourage are not here in front of you. You guys are acting weird. But okay, I'll try. Hmm. Uh. It disappeared! So Nilu's the host! What a surprise! Purple body Saras don't exist in the real world anymore! But in Nilu's subconscious, they can appear as decorations on the stage! It's just like the example Nahida told us. People assume there will be food on a plate, and Nilu assumed there would be real Patisaras in the flower pots. So when you saw the flowers, you instantly knew it was Nilu? Correct. But if we want to end the samsara, we need the host to become aware that they're dreaming. How should we make Nilu realize that? Am I dreaming? Huh? <laughs> so I'm right. Is this Lesser Lord Kusanali responding to our celebration of the Sabzeru's festival? Wrong guess, but you aren't completely wrong either. The point is, what made you think this is a dream? As far as you know, people in Sumeru don't dream, right? Yeah. But have you heard the tale of the first sage? To prevent a calamity, he went on a journey to find the Dendro Archon. Ooh, sounds familiar. Dendrozad told us a story like that when we first arrived in Sumeru City. So it was about the first sage, huh? Yep. But in the part you heard, he hadn't become the first sage yet. There's more to the story. His piety and wisdom were acknowledged by the Dendro Archon, and she finally gave her blessing to him. All kinds of spectacular scenes appeared in front of the First Sage, as if all the knowledge in the world was being painted onto a canvas right before him. He was captivated. Elliot, I'm gonna turn around. You better not be fucking scratching up my bed. After who knows how long, he mastered all the knowledge he could comprehend. Afterward, he said to the Dendro Archon, oh. I miss my parents, my wife, and my children. I've been away from home for far too long. They must be worried. The Dendro Archon smiled. The next second, the sage found himself lying in his bed, as if he had just woken up from a dream. His wife, lying next to him, said, You're off to search for the Dendro Archon today, aren't you? Have a safe journey, my love. In the end, the first sage took care of many disasters in Sumeru City and founded the Academia. <sighs> what a happy ending. So, the first sage was dreaming oh, ever gosh. since the beginning of the story? He never went on his journey? He did, but he didn't. It was in yes. But his faith and determination were conveyed to the Dendro Archon, so she blessed him in the form of a dream. Paimon understands where you're coming from now. That's a really interesting connection. But we really gotta wake up soon, like the sage in the story! I see. Well, it just so happens that today's sub -Zero's festival is almost over too. Since we're in a dream, let's make this final dance of sub -Zeru's as beautiful as we can. Girl's basically saying, I gotta dance. There's nothing wrong with that. Gotta make a hole in here. Gonna make a hole so I can put the thing in it. 
I'd be lying if I said I had no regrets. I would have loved to see Nilo's dance. Traveler. Oh, my mom feels like she's been asleep for the longest time. I wonder how, like. The bench. I'm on the bench. I might actually put some tape around the edges so it doesn't damage this metal stick. I mean, it might. Well, it's not so much it would damage it. I'd, oh, yeah, it would, but it wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, the work I gotta do for cosplay related shenanigans. I like how I like, decided just to randomly start doing it again. The fuck is that? I was like, eh, might as well. I got the stickers and all that jazz. Might as well fucking use my shit to do the thing that I've been wanting to do, but I've just been too lazy to do. For reasons I don't give a shit about. Oh, probably the depression. <coughs> oh. Not the bench, it's the. where our Nahida has been taking us. Well done, Traveler and Paimon! And thank you, Dunyarzad, for organizing the Subsaris Festival for me. I'm sorry, who are... Dunyarzad! <laughs> You're okay! Oh, don't scare us like that! Poor girl's confused and doesn't know what's going on because y'all don't fucking explain shit. But then again, maybe she doesn't need to have things to explain. Whatever. I need to make that hole bigger. Oh, a traveler, Paimon! I have something amazing to tell you. I just had a dream, and I saw Nilu performing the dance of Subzerus. Can I fuck 
can do the thing now. Will it let me? Will it let me? The second blessing. Can I go now? Why? What the fuck is Dawn? Dawn. Alright then. I don't talk to Catherine. Ugh. Hey, shush. You're actually Nahida, aren't you? Paimon felt like Catherine was acting weird when we met at the Subzerus Festival. And... Dunyarzad, did you save her? It's a really long story. We shouldn't disturb her. Her consciousness is still weakened. Let's chat somewhere else. Hmm, how about by the traveler's favorite bench? The hole needs to be a little bigger. And then I can fit right in. Neat. Alrighty. Now we go to the bench. My ginger's on. Look how sweet she is. She's like my... She's like one of What's my going on? Why are you two so excited to see me? <laughs> Hasn't it only been a night? It's actually been much longer than that. Oh? Strange. Was I really asleep that long? No wonder I have such a headache. Gosh, she's such a sweetie. I love her. She's like my one of my favorite NPCs. I mean... Tepe was also one of my favorite NPCs, too, but, uh, we don't talk about Tepe. <laughs> nope, we don't talk about Tepe. Anyway! Oh, I was so precious. Oh, yes. <sighs> so. Darner's not as adorable. I don't think there was anybody... I don't think there's an NPC in Mondstadt or Leeway that I actually give a shit about. Oh, no, Madam Ping, I guess. She's pretty cool. Let's talk about Dunyarzad first. It's such a relief that she's alright. Mm -hmm. After we parted on the last day of the Subzerus Festival, I left the city and saw what the Traveler had described. Among the countless dreams, I found one that was growing fainter and fainter. This proved my suspicion. Once Dunyarzad could no longer bear the Akasha harvesting her dreams, her consciousness began to dissipate. But this also meant it escaped the Akasha's control. Such a small fragment of consciousness can't last for very long, though. It will return to its original dream, where both will gradually fade until they completely disappear. I used all the power I had to keep her dying dream alive as long as possible. But it still wouldn't have lasted for much longer if it hadn't been for you two breaking the samsara. So it looks like we did manage to save Dunyarzad in the end! And not a moment too soon! In other words... Like fucking, you know how your fucking car can run on empty? For like a couple miles, a few more miles after it says empty. Essentially, what we ended up doing. Huh? I know. Why are you two smiling so happily? I thought you'd be so moved that you'd start crying. Hmm. I need to spend more time observing human emotions. Both are fine. Everyone reacts differently. Alright. You two must have a lot of other questions for me, right? After all, you saved my faithful believer. As your reward, I will answer any and all questions. <laughs> Speaking of believers and shit, you wanna know what I... kinda slightly shipped, even though I know it's not gonna be a thing? I'm pretty sure people will be all snippy about it. There is a ship that I got into the mildly. It was an NPC and a certain character we all know, but it wasn't the traveler. Yeah. 
And those of you who don't, you know, who are only getting fr Genshin shenanigans through me and stuff, um, I'm trying not to spoil it. But those of you who don't, um, and who probably consume Genshin in other forms. I'm pretty sure you would know this character. Dude. I'm trying to remember the fucking thing. <laughs> Comes a little bit of the song. You might not. I don't know. At the there was this incense that made the traveler fall unconscious and dream of a huge tree and a red sky. You also heard someone's voice, right? It said world and forget me. Yeah, so you do know. We've been wanting to ask you what that was about that and if too. the red sky was related to Conria. Hmm. It seems like the Traveler established a connection to Erminsoul. That was a message left by Greater Lord Rukadavata's residual consciousness in Erminsoul. Perhaps her last memory before she died. As you two probably know, Greater Lord Rukadavata disappeared after the disaster in Conria. The timings of these events do line up, so your suspicions are reasonable. A message from Greater Lord Rukadavata? We thought it was from King Deshret. King Deshret? That god who died even longer ago? Uh, some present-day desert dwellers still worship him. You probably just heard some of their conspiracies. Okay, so what does the message mean? <sighs> I still haven't managed to decipher it. Even the Akasha isn't currently capable of doing that. Greater Lord Rukadavata's residual consciousness in Erminsoul seems this to be contaminated with well. something that has a very dangerous aura to it. Many devoted scholars go mad as soon as they connect their consciousness. I've warned the Academia about this many times, but people still keep falling victim to it. But I believe this is the key to saving Erminsoul. That's why I've kept trying to decipher it. So the tree in the vision was Ermansoul? Oh, Tainari also said that Ermansoul is sick! Is it because of the contaminated consciousness? Look how cool this looks. But even if you can't figure nice. out what that vision was all about, it seems like our search for you was all in vain. The Traveler wasn't affected after coming in contact with that consciousness. I've never yeah. seen anyone like that. With you here, we may have a chance at deciphering it. No, we must decipher its secrets. I've already eliminated all other factors that might affect Ermansoul. This is the only one left. This puzzle has life and death at stake. It could determine Ermansoul's fate, as well as to that's. So fucking cool. Funny. Like, sorry, I'm like looking at my thing. To be accurate, I'm using the Akasha as a medium to occupy Catherine's consciousness. Uh, how did you do that? Poor Catherine. Uh, does this mean you can also occupy other people's consciousnesses? Theoretically, I can enter anyone's mind as long as they're wearing their Akasha terminal. The Akasha is the legacy of Greater Lord Rukadavata. As Lesser Lord Kusanali and the first Akasha Terminal, my consciousness has always been linked to the Akasha. I've always respected my people's free will, so I've never actually occupied their consciousness. When necessary, I just borrow this Bionic Snizhnayan puppet. Uh, oh, hold on. Did we just learn some deep dark secret? So Catherine is... No. Wonder Paimon felt something was off about her. Hmm. What about your own body? Why do you need to borrow other people's? Don't you live in the sanctuary of Suristana? That story begins a long time ago. 
After Greater Lord Ruka Devata disappeared, the sages found my newly born self and took me back to Sumeru. At that time, I was young and weak. The sages kept me in the sanctuary of Surusthana, ostensibly for the sake of protecting me. But I've hardly heard from them since. However, I do understand that they had hoped to find Greater Lord Ruka Devata instead of me, a symbol of her passing. So, the sages basically put their new Archon under house arrest? How dare they! Uh, why don't you teach them a lesson, Nahida? In some ways, they aren't wrong. Greater Lord Ruka Devata was omniscient and omnipotent. Even after her death, the Akasha is still empowering this nation. And I... I'm still really far away from being able to call myself the God of Wisdom. Moreover, the Academia is also more proficient at governing this country. My existence has little meaning. Yeah, you got a lot of believers. Just look at the sub Festival. Everyone who showed up truly loves you. <laughs> Thank you for the kind words. But I honestly don't need physical freedom as long as I can connect my consciousness to the Akasha. Trying to find a way to save Ermansoul is my life's mission and top priority. I will work on that and try to live up to being a deity in the meantime. Every once in a while, I will also take up the duties of the God of Wisdom and enlighten a lost soul here and there. Doing all that should be enough. Hmm. I realized something. Well, I guess I'll finish the rest of these shenanigans. Um. There has never been any big problems with the Academia's governance of Sumeru. This is the first time I've seen them step out of line. I wonder what caused them to go down this path, and what they hope to achieve. Even though the city's residents haven't noticed anything strange, what, sweetie? if the Traveler hadn't broken the sub Samsara, the situation could have become dire. I tried to do some investigating in the Akasha, but I couldn't find anything suspicious. And all the people of interest seem to purposely avoid wearing their Akasha terminals. I think they're deliberately trying to hide something. Oh, that reminds Paimon! In Gundarvaville, there was a sage who had invited Kainari to join some kind of project. Could it be related? Regardless, I need to first investigate the sage's <laughs> motives, make things right, and punish them if needed. But I'll have to be discreet, or they'll see me coming. You mean how the Akasha stops you from having dreams? Yeah, it's been such a long time. No one's noticed something's up? It's not that no one noticed. It's more like no one cared. Ultimately, it's all rooted in the sage's misdirection. Misdirection? The sage has convinced everyone to believe that being unable to dream is a sign of rationality and wisdom. Not dreaming is a badge of honor in Sumeru. Even if the truth is that their dreams are being reaped by the Akasha. With their propaganda in place, the sages can maximize their use of the Akasha to facilitate their research. Besides, Greater Lord Ruka Devata must have created the Akasha in the hopes that it could be used to its full potential. That's why I've never come out strongly against this. <sighs> anyway... The perspective advocated by the sages drowned out any voices of doubt. By now, even those who never use Akasha terminals find it too shameful and embarrassing to talk about their dreams. <sighs> Got it! I hope my answers were satisfactory, seekers of knowledge. To be honest, maintaining Dunyarzad's fading dream took a lot of mental energy. Actually, no, I should probably I think I may need to rest for a while. Because not only would it be safe, but it would be black. Oh, and you don't need 
to worry too much about the Sage's activities for now. The Akasha won't be able to conduct another project on the scale of the Subzerus Samsara in the immediate future. Go and get some sleep. Leave everything to us. <laughs> what a relief. <sighs> this is truly the most exhausting birthday I've ever had. Hmm? Traveler? Paimon? Why am I here? Do either of you know? I... Maybe you were sleepwalking. You know you can't wake up a sleepwalker. We, uh... We happened to walk by, so we thought we'd wait for you to wake up. I see. Huh. I should visit my maintenance personnel sometime. Oh, I'm fine. I better go. Thank you. Here we go. Alrighty. We've spent quite some time in Sumeru City, but ever since we last said goodbye to Lesser Lord Kusanali, we haven't heard anything from her. Oh, we can't just keep waiting around like this. Let's go find Catherine and pick up some work so we can at least keep ourselves busy. Can I please do it? Can I do it? Yay! Maybe? Fuck yeah. Okay, cool. Hallelujah! 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 Ha. Hallelujah! <clears throat> Hallelujah! Shit! I should have skipped this! Astra Avisosk. We meet again, you two. Fuck. Hi, Catherine. Do you have any commissions, huh? Oh, how about this? Please attend the Academia's Academic Symposium this afternoon and recite a love poem on stage. Yeah, it's in this episode, and I'm not trying to figure out how to get, skip this shit, and, or if not, at least do the other one that I wanted to do. We'll see how that works. Anyway, for now, Tiny Sachibi is signing out. <laughs>